the Adeli penguin. Adelis live in a world of ice. They feed under pack ice and rest on ice floes. Nowadays, though, the ice is unreliable. Adelis famously can put up with hardship, but these problems are new. Where there used to be ice, now there's open water, and the air is the warmest it's been since the last ice age. Chicks wait for their parents on what used to be frozen ground, but is now as muddy as a pigsty. This colony used to be the most southerly outpost. It's not anymore. Other Adelis are setting up colonies even further south. By following the Adelis redistribution, scientists can trace the effects of the changing pack ice. The Adelis keep having new experiences. Invaders, for instance. Chin-strap penguins, which avoid pack ice, do better in places where the Adelis are suddenly uncomfortable. Fur and elephant seals are turning up too. The Adelis can't move, not this year anyway, not before their chicks are grown. So they're stuck in the mud. And as the long twilights turn into actual sunsets and short nights, the parents have to go further away for pack ice and food. When a parent comes back, its chicks recognize its call and are led away on a long steeplechase over the rocks to a place where they can be fed in peace. Adelis usually have two chicks each, and the most aggressive one is always fed first. As the pack ice shrinks, food is scarce now. Skewers are particularly alert to weak chicks that are not being fed. Sometimes, strong chicks are attacked as well. A frightened penguin often regurgitates its krill and the skewers gratefully eat that too. <coughs> Tension between skewers and penguins increases as summer nears its end. Both know it's important to fatten up before they leave for the winter. Until a few years ago, this was solid ice. Now, it's just broken ice flows, and the water is warmer and saltier. The emperor penguin colony is nearer than it's ever been to the open sea. The chicks this year are very healthy. They're seven months old and already as big as adult Adelis. Being right next to the sea means that their parents have quick access to fish and squid and can feed them more frequently. That's the good news. The bad news is that the ice is still melting back and the chicks don't have their swimming feathers yet. It's possible that the whole colony will disappear into the sea.